two of public relations. Uh, week two, we're going to cover a, a number of things. We're going to take a look at newsworthy events, which are the, the core to creating a, a press release. I'm going to give you an example. Uh, we'll do these each in different videos, by the way. So this video, I just want to introduce you to what we're going to be talking about uh, as a main focus in week two. And it is newsworthy events, giving you an example with which you can see how all this comes together. And that will actually take some of the, the content, our, our monitoring activities. Because remember, our monitoring activities from week one, well, what were they supposed to produce? They were supposed to produce ideas for newsworthy events, alert us to potential crises so we could develop mitigation strategies, and then number three, other content uh, that, that others have developed that we could then share uh, and add to our, our credibility with our, our publics. So in, in uh, week two, we're going to look at newsworthy events, give you the example, look at, at what just what is Publix, because after all, without Publix, this is just about relations. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Anyway, and then the last thing we'll do uh, this week is we'll look at the press release mechanics and walk you through the press release from top to bottom, and I'll try and give you some of my, my best tips for uh, what makes a, a press release really work. And don't forget, this is Internet public relations, right? Or I should say digital marketing public relations. So what we need to do is talk about how we're going to make that, that press release uh, viable in the digital world. So that's the agenda for this week. Um, I, I think you're going to enjoy each of the topics.